Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my 2016 favorites. Some are beauty, some are hair related. Um, but if you want to see what 2016 favorites I had, please just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to start off with as my 2016 favorites is a foundation. This foundation is like life changing. Like I like this foundation better than I like any high end foundation. And it is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible. Um, I've literally bought like seven different shades just for like when I'm tan, on my clients. Um, it's, I have shade 201, 204, 205. I'm mainly shade 204 and this stuff is freaking phenomenal. Like game changer in drugstore foundation. So L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation is definitely my 2016 favorite. <laughs> So my concealer favorite for 2016 is also my favorite from 2015 as well. It's a Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm in the shade Neutral Medium. I'm obsessed with this. It's like my third tube that I've gone through. I will re be replacing this and it's almost out. So about to be on to number four. But definitely my 2016 favorite. So to go along with that concealer, I'm going to do my favorite setting powder, which is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, this is definitely a favorite of mine. I, this is just the trial size. I will be repurchasing in the full size because it's just that amazing. Um, but yeah, so 2016 favorite for powder is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So as far as bronzers go, I have a couple favorites. One, I'm pretty sure this is one of last year's, is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Except last year I used milk chocolate, and this year this is just the regular chocolate soleil. So it's like the medium chocolate shade. But this bronzer is freaking amazing. It smells good, and it has that really nice warm bronze. It doesn't have any orange or redness to it. It's just like a really good bronzer. Love it. Mmm, it smells so good. My 2016 favorite for a bronzer is also a drugstore product. This is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Bronzer. I've had this since like March, so this is a ride or die drugstore bronzer. I don't, I haven't seen it, so I don't know if they make it anymore. The paint is huge though. Yes, it's broken. Just don't worry about it. Um, the paint is huge. Like I hit paint a long time ago, but there's still so much product around it. On the very top of it, it looks like there's some shimmer in it, but it doesn't transfer onto the skin. It's just really gorgeous. So another one of my 2016 favorite bronzers. So on the subject of skin, I'm going to keep going in this direction. Uh, some of my favorite highlighters. Obviously, I have two favorites. My first one is the Becca Jaclyn Hill face palette, which has two highlighters and also three blushes. I only use like the middle shade for the blush because it's just like a darker shade. Um, but of course I use Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop, of course. Um, but I really like these two. I use them sparingly because she's not gonna make any more of these palettes. So this is like my wedding client, you know, just if I wanna just do something like, like regular highlighter, I use King Tut every single day. I'm trying to grab it just a second. The so two of my favorite highlighters are from Jeffree Star. Um, one more favorite than the other, if you can tell which one gets the most love, it's King Tut. Um, this is the one that I've had, I don't know when I bought these, but I dropped it shortly after I bought it. So this is what my pan looks like. So shattered. I need to like re-alcohol press it back into the pan if possible because it's like flaking because I did a terrible job doing it the first time um but this is what I'm wearing today it's just like my favorite highlighter of like all times and I think they run like $28 um so I have Quinta and then I also have Peach Goddess which I never use Peach Goddess and you can tell from the pan there's still like the Jeffree Star emblem in it um I really liked it at first but I just really gravitate towards like the glowy gold highlights so whatever so we're gonna jump into eyeshadows i have three what are you doing hey wait what what are you doing no you're just fucking with stuff you're just trying to piss me off let's try this again um so i have three eyeshadow palettes that i want to talk about my first one being my tarlet in bloom palette I love this palette. It has really amazing neutral tones in it. It's just a warm neutral. It doesn't have any cool or any like metallic colors or anything. Um, obviously, I use Smarty Pants like a ton. Same with Charmer. Um, I actually fill in my brows with Smoke Show, which is like this darker. 
Why are you back? Number two is a little bit newer than my other one, which is the Nubian by Juvia's Place. Love it. It has amazing colors. They're um, mattes and shimmery metallics, so um, the pigmentation in these is like freaking amazing. Like you can swatch these and it's just like butter. Butter. So amazing. And I'm gonna have that on my hand for a while now. <laughs> um, but I really love this palette. It's really lightweight, like it's not super heavy. So I love this. And last but not least is my Morphe 350 palette. <laughs> Minus a few. Um, I've dropped this and I've lost two shadows, which I can't even remember what the colors were, so I don't really miss them that much. Um, lots of shimmers and metallics. So, love this palette. I've used it when I first got this, I used it every single day. There's some shadows that I've used more than others, obviously, um, but I just love it. It's just so versatile and lots, lots of warm, pretty colors. 2016 favorite mascara is the L'Oreal Feline Voluminous Mascara. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe I just gravitate towards like cheetah print products. I don't know. But the wand on this is freaking amazing. Like it's just like the perfect size. It doesn't have any crazy bristles. It literally grabs every single lash and coats it and then it doesn't make it look clumpy. And that's what I've looked for in a mascara. So this is amazing. I didn't have like any brushes that really stood out because I mean I use different brushes all the time but something that did stand out is in like the tools department of makeup and this is freaking amazing I have been a beauty blender ride or die ever since they came out um game changer I'm digging this Morphe blending sponge I think they have another color which would be nice because I don't really dig this red um but it's whatever but I love it and it doesn't get like that nasty dry feeling it stays soft and that's what I love about it so there's a couple lip products in 2016 that I loved um, the first one obviously all the hype in 2016 was Kylie Jenner Kylie Jenner everything Kylie Jenner makeup Kylie Jenner lip kits Kylie Jenner eyebrows Kylie Jenner lip fillers everything freaking Kylie Jenner so <laughs> like the freaking bandwagon person that I am Kylie Jenner lip kit I have the shade Dolce K I had a matching lip liner don't know what happened to it. We're just moving on from that because I'm kind of upset about it, but whatever. So Kylie Jenner Lip Kits was amazing. Um, they have a really good smell. I wouldn't say really good. It smells like vanilla or cake vodka is what it smells like. Thank you, college memories. Dolce K was really nice shade. It was like more of a brownish nude, which Jeffree Star came out with a lipstick almost identical to it. This is Celebrity Skin has a disgusting smell to it. I've never been a fan of the smell and it's one of those smells where like you can like, you'll like put it on your lips and you're smelling it as you're doing it and it instantly makes you hate it. But this color is so good that it is totally one of my 2016 favorites. The wand applicator itself is amazing. Like it fits on your lip. It doesn't like, it doesn't like, <laughs> I don't know, I can't explain it. It just fits on your lips good. So it makes for a really nice application. One favorite that's not makeup or hair related and that's a perfume. This is Chance Chanel. Um, it's the green Chance by Chanel. Is a lot of, there's like three different colors or something. Um, freaking amazing. My friend Paige had this at like the Dexter barbecue like three years ago. And I remember smelling it and then she's like, oh yeah, this is what it is. And she showed it to me and it was this big old bottle of Chanel. And I'm like, one of these days I'm gonna buy that. And I did. So it's a little mini version, but this sucker was like 75 bucks. So um, needless to say, I do two squirts, one on the neck, one on the wrist, and that's like on a good day. If not, I'm gonna use like some body splash from Victoria's Secret or something because this is like special event, go on a day, like something I will not use every single day. But when I do use it, I get a ton of compliments on it and I freaking love it. So now we are on the subject of hair. So starting off, I want to tell you guys about these amazing brushes for you stylists out there. Obviously, I'm a newbie to this game, so some things that are new to me are probably not new to other people. But, so just comparison real quick. This is a Sally's color brush. It's plastic, it's like cheap and bendable, and the bristles are super blunt. They're not really soft, they're like, plasticky. Then, I'm like a huge sucker for YouTube. Obviously I do YouTube videos. Um, 
but Guy Tang is bragging about these brushes and they're called From Our Brushes. And I'm like, okay, well, I kind of want to check out this website that he's talking about. Um, so I go to From, from Our from ourinternational.com, I believe is what it is. I'll put the link below. But these brushes are freaking awesome. Can I help you? Dude, I'm like almost done. Can you give me like five minutes? Um, so this has like this rubber handle with little grips on it. It has like an indention. Are you fucking kidding me? Rocky, what are you doing, bro? Come on, buddy. Come on. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Before I was really interrupted for like the eighth time. Um, these for my brushes, they have a really long um, tail for foiling, so that's perfect. Um, the little rubber grip, they have like this little indention so you can like kind of place your thumb in there and it's comfortable. But what really makes this brush amazing are the bristles. They have, I think it's called like some sort of technology that they have. It's like, <laughs> it sounds gay, it's like super soft technology, I don't know. Something like about soft bristles. So here's these bristles, they're, they're like tapered, they're really, really soft. Like you can't even, here, I'm gonna like pull it up close so y'all can hear. And then you have <laughs> this. So I'm going to tell you my 2016 hair favorites. Um, I'm gonna go in order of how I would use them, I guess. For starters, this is the Pravana, I don't know how you say Nevo, Nevo. It's the Intense Therapy Leave-In Treatment. It smells so good and you put this in your hair when it's wet or damp, comb it out and then, you know, if you wanna blow dry your hair, if you wanna air dry it, it's whatever. Um, but this is like a lifesaver when it comes to your hair. You need to invest in your hair. And this is how you start, is by getting a really nice leave-in conditioner. I have two different products I use after my leave-in conditioner. I'll put these on when it's damp, almost dry. The Kenra Platinum Silkening Gloss. This is, I don't want to say greasy, um, but you definitely want to put it in your hair from the mid shaft down to the ends and not any further up on the roots because it will feel just like dirty and nasty. This is great for semi-damp hair and then also if your hair is just super thirsty and looking dull, put some of this in the ends before you flat iron it and then it'll add like that extra shine. Now this has been a favorite for 10 years. We had it in high school, I remember. I had this in high school. <laughs> So it's, it's been a favorite for a while. It is Bedhead After Party. It smells great. It comes in this little pump. God, I just want to put some in my hair right now. Like, it's seriously that good. Put it in your ends. You can put this in when your hair is kind of damp too. And then like dry it and stuff. And it just makes your hair feel so soft. It doesn't do anything as far as like making your hair better. Um, but it just makes it feel better. It doesn't actually like treat your hair, but it just feels good. So my two final products are going to be kind of like hairsprays. The first one is a hairspray, it's Goldwell. It's the, it's called Big Finish by Goldwell. And this is the best smelling hairspray. And it has like volumizing properties to it. So not only does it smell good and hold well, but it helps volumize your hair as well. So I'll like lift up my hair right here, spray. Kind of shake it out a little bit. Oh my god, it smells so good. That's more for volumizing, holding a curl. Um, now this spray is from Bedhead again. It's called Head Rush. It's a really fine mist and it kind of causes like a little fog. Like it's, you'll see when I spray it. It's just a shine spray. It doesn't make your hair feel soft. Maybe like a little bit or something, but it's mainly just for when you have really dull hair um, and you want to, you know, add some shine to it without putting in thick product. Um, and it smells amazing, so why wouldn't you use that? So you just use it like this. See what I'm talking about? It's kind of foggy. And it like get some good air circulation when you're doing this. Jesus. I think that concludes my 2016 favorites. 
There was some beauty, some hair, a little bit of everything included in that. Um, so I cannot wait for what 2017 holds. I'll be graduating hair school. Um, hopefully I will be working in a salon soon. Um, I'm still doing like makeup stuff as far as like videos and stuff goes. So um, if you have any video requests, please let me know. I'm really gonna try to put out more hair videos too. Um, I just uploaded one of me doing my friend Kelly's pink hair earlier. So make sure you check that out as well. Um, but yeah, don't forget to book with me. I'm at the Ponca City Beauty College. I'm only there in the mornings right now because I do work part-time in the afternoons. Um, so if you want me to do your hair, call me, text me. Um, we'll get you booked like early in the morning. I'm taking my first clients at like 10 o'clock. So if I can get you in early, I can get you out early. I can go to work and you can go to work. So it's like a win win. <laughs> Anyways, I just want to say thank you guys for watching my video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. Are you serious? Make your lap. Make your hot lap. Come on. Let's go. Da. So I'm going to tell you guys about some really favorite 2006. I can't fucking talk today. You're just trying to piss me off. Okay, I'm going to let him out real quick. Just a second.